Topic in the video is force on a charged particle in magnetic field. Belongs to the lesson moving charges and magnetism. Learning outcomes of this topic are force on a charged particle in magnetic field. Factors affecting the force on a charged particle in magnetic field and differences between force on a charged particle in electric and magnetic field. Namaste students, this is Chalpati, faculty in physics. Now I am going to explain the details about force on a charged particle moving in electric and magnetic fields. Force on a charged particle in magnetic field. To analyze this one, just imagine a charged particle entered in a magnetic field. Definitely, there will be a force on this charged particle. So, the force on the charged particle Q in magnetic field B moving with a velocity V is given by F equals to Q into V bar cross B bar. Here, V bar cross B bar means it is a cross product between velocity vector and magnetic field vector. So, we can mention that is as Vb sin theta. So, that is why the force acting on the charged particle in magnetic field will be Qvb sin theta. So, based on number of analysis, they will come to know that the force on the charged particle in magnetic field depends upon four factors as shown in the equation. So, here theta is in particularly the angle between the direction of motion and magnetic field. So, direction of motion or velocity of charged particle direction and magnetic field direction. So, theta is the angle between velocity of charged particle and direction of magnetic field. Based on the formula of charged particle in magnetic field F equals to QVB sin theta, we can note few points. Those are force on charged particle depends upon magnitude of charge, velocity of charge, magnitude of the magnetic induction or intensity of magnetic field and finally, angle between the direction of velocity and magnetic field. Next, the direction of magnetic force is always perpendicular to both magnetic field B and velocity V. So, let me explain that one with a particular diagram. Just consider a magnetic field is along a direction as shown in the diagram and a charged particle moving in the same plane of magnetic field. Then, according to the right hand thumb rule. So, to analyze the cross product between the two vectors. So, cross product between the two vectors will give a resultant vector. So, here cross product between the velocity vector and magnetic field vector will give the force vector. So, to get the direction of a force vector, we should consider right hand grip rule. So, according to right hand grip rule, so, if you keep your palm in the direction of velocity and if you close your fingers, right hand fingers towards the magnetic field, then the thumb of your right hand will indicate the direction upward that is for positive charged particle. The force on the positive charged particle moving in magnetic field will give the direction as shown in the diagram. If it is a negatively charged body, then exactly you will get the opposite direction like this. Same thing if you analyze with another diagram. For suppose a charged particle is moving in magnetic field. So, just consider at a particular point for example, P a charged particle is moving. So, 
that is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field for suppose then here also the force you can analyze here they mentioned clearly you can see in the diagram so magnetic field and velocity both are perpendicular to each other to get the direction of force on charged particle due to magnetic field so you have to consider again right hand grip so for that you should imagine or keep your right hand all fingers towards the velocity direction and afterwards try to close your fingers towards magnetic field then your thumb indicates the direction that is towards the center of this circle as shown in figure here i am indicating with o so this is the center of the circle so anywhere in the path if the charged particle moving in magnetic field so due to magnetic force everywhere the velocity of the charged particle will be same and continuously due to the magnetic field force direction of the charged particle will change and always the force point out toward the center that means charged particle in magnetic field enters perpendicularly it will follow circular path as shown in diagram and as well as here according to my point i want to show the direction of magnetic force that is always towards the center of the circle next a stationary charged particle in magnetic field experiences no force to analyze that one consider the equation f equals to q into v bar cross v bar or q v b sin theta so here the particle is at rest stationary means the particle is at rest so if it is at rest velocity zero so stationary particle means the velocity zero if you substitute that velocity value in this equation zero into something is zero so that is why hence force on the charged particle is zero next point when a charged particle enters in magnetic field in the direction perpendicular to the field it takes a circular path just before slide only i explained but once again so with a clear diagram so here the magnetic field here into symbol indicates the magnetic field inward to the display so just imagine inward to the board or inward to the display magnetic field direction now for suppose a charged particle moving randomly in one direction but compulsory you should consider perpendicular to the magnetic field so perpendicular to the magnetic field you can imagine one plane in that plane any direction we can consider for a charged particle at a particular time for example it is moving in one direction for example consider here so here charged particle direction indicated with arrow here now imagine your right hand all fingers showing the velocity direction and afterwards try to close your fingers towards the magnetic field so you have to align your right hand fingers towards the magnetic field and afterwards the magnetic field is inward so your fingers also you have to close inward to the board or inward to the display then your thumb definitely will indicate the force direction once you try so if you are getting any doubt just go little bit back and listen these words again and analyze with your right hand definitely you will get the thumb direction as shown in the diagram so everywhere continuously the force on the charged particle point outs the center of a particular circle that means continuously a uniform force will act and continuously due to that force the change in direction also fixed that means the charged particle will follow a circular path so again i am repeating the statement when a charged particle enter a magnetic field in a direction perpendicular to the field it takes a circular path next work done by the force acting on the charged particle is 
zero. So why work done by the force zero? There is a reason here. Work done by the force by magnetic field force is zero. Reason: the magnetic field direction and so once analyze what we discussed in the previous slide. There I mentioned in a diagram magnetic field is inward, but you got the force due to magnetic field in the plane. That means the force direction and magnetic field direction both are perpendicular. and as well as if you analyze the velocity direction so that velocity direction is the tangent to the circle but force direction is towards the center that means the force direction velocity direction both are perpendicular to each other so here velocity force perpendicular means displacement force also perpendicular that means the net work done depends upon force into displacement into angle between the displacement and force so here both are perpendicular to each other velocity vector and force vector perpendicular to each other nothing but velocity vector and displacement vector also will be perpendicular to each other so that is why the net force will be zero so here once again just if you analyze the charged particle moving tangentially to the circle so force direction toward the center and the charged particle tangent to the circle so here you can see a right angle so that means the work done is zero next point force on the charged particle is zero if the charged particle is moving in the direction of magnetic field or moving in the opposite direction of the magnetic field so consider the diagram so in the diagram you can see a charged particle for example q charged particle is moving in magnetic field parallel to the magnetic field then the net force on the charged particle is zero why because according to the formula f equals to q v b sin theta so here theta zero if theta zero sin theta zero so sin zero zero so net product will be zero nothing but force on the charged particle zero the charged particle will follow the same path without getting any force for example if the charged particle is moving in opposite direction then also the net force zero why because if theta 0 or theta 180 degrees sin 0 0 sin 180 0 so force will be zero next point when the charged particle enters in magnetic field in a direction other than perpendicular its path is a helix let me explain with a suitable diagram so here you can see the charged particle is moving in a direction by making an angle theta with the y axis means it is making a certain angle with the magnetic field which is in the direction of z axis so here the velocity vector is making an angle theta with the y axis that means so it is also making some angle with the z axis so this velocity is resolved into two components one is y component that is v cos theta and as well as z component that is v sin theta so here it is having two velocities means velocity components so according to perpendicular component means velocity along y axis for example consider as vy due to vy velocity the charged particle will move along a circle this point already completed so if the charged particle entered perpendicular to the magnetic field it will follow a circular path so due to y component velocity the charged particle will experience a force due to that it will follow a circular path but at the same time it is having z component of velocity so if the charged particle moving parallel to the magnetic field there is no force on the charged particle that point also completed so here at a time the parallel component of velocity due to that no magnetic field effect so it will follow a straight line path and as well as due to perpendicular component of velocity to the magnetic field so it has to follow circular path so at the same time circular path and as well as 
linear motion so both leads to helical motion so that is why the path of the charged particle in magnetic field if it enters other than 90 degrees angle then it will follow helical path so let me explain with one more diagram for example here the charged particle started moving in a direction which is making an angle certain angle with the x axis as well as y axis for suppose like this now magnetic field direction is along x axis but the velocity vector is making an angle with the x axis and as well as y axis so here the velocity vector will be resolved into two components x component and y component so due to x component of velocity there is no force but due to y component there is a force on this charged particle due to that so here the y component of velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field so that is why the charged particle has to follow circular motion but at the same time due to x axis velocity there is no force so at a time the charged particle is getting circular motion due to magnetic force and as well as it is having the x component so it has to move along x axis also so it is having two type of motion at a time one is a circular motion due to magnetic force and as well as uh, due to x component of velocity it is having linear motion so linear motion circular motion both leads to helical motion so that is why the charged particle enters in magnetic field other than 90 degrees it will follow helical path now differences between the force on charged particle due to electric field and magnetic field so in the last class we learned already details about the force on charged particle in electric field now comparison between both as differences let me explain one by one so i am taking force due to electric field on left side force due to magnetic field on right side the first point the force on the charge q in electric field e is f equals to eq so it's a direct mathematical expression so in case of magnetic field if the charged particle enters into the magnetic field then it experiences a force that is f equals to q v b sin theta now second point the direction of electric force is always in the direction of electric field so charged particle will move due to the force in the direction of electric field only but here in case of magnetic field the direction of magnetic force is always perpendicular to the both magnetic field and as well as velocity of the charged particle now third point a stationary charged particle in an electric field experiences a force why because in the force expression you can see velocity component only not there so independent of velocity that is fourth point so let me explain the third point in magnetic field the stationary charged particle in magnetic field experiences no force reason here stationary means velocity zero so if the velocity zero then the net force will be zero so that is why there is no force on the charged particle which is taking rest in magnetic field now fourth point the electric force is velocity independent so the force on the charged particle will not depend on its velocity in electric field but in magnetic field it depends upon magnitude as well as direction both so analyze carefully here not only magnitude so according to the formula the force on the charged particle depends upon velocity of the charged particle as well as the direction theta is also impact is there if the charged particle is moving in the direction of magnetic field no force if the charged particle moving perpendicularly then the force is maximum next point fifth point force due to electric field work is done by the force acting on the charged particle here if the charged particle is there in electric field definitely it experiences a force due to that it will move so whenever the charged particle is moving there is a force 
means there is a work done but in case of magnetic field work done by the force acting on the charged particle is zero why because just now we analyzed again i am giving the recap the force and the displacement or velocity both are perpendicular to each other the force due to magnetic field is perpendicular to its velocity of the charged particle so the work done nothing but force into displacement so displacement vector and force vector both are perpendicular to each other so that is why work done by the magnetic force on the charged particle is zero next sixth point when the charged particle enters the electric field in a direction perpendicular to the field its path is parabolic so charged particle if enters not only perpendicular if it enters it will follow a parabolic path due to the electric field force it will deviate due to the deviation it will follow a parabolic path but in particularly if the charged particle enters in the magnetic field in particularly means in a direction perpendicular to the field it takes a circular path but the electric force seventh point is independent of angle between the direction of velocity and electric field but here it depends upon direction the magnetic force depends upon angle between the direction of velocity and the magnetic field according to the formula we can analyze next point force on the charged particle is same even though the charge is moving in the direction of electric field or moving in the opposite direction of electric field that means charged particle can take any direction it can move in any direction but the net force is same means irrespective of the motion of the charged particle electric field experiences a force that is fixed that is f equals to eq but in case of magnetic field the direction as well as velocity both will impact so that is why force on the charged particle is zero if the charged particle is moving in the direction of magnetic field or moving in opposite direction of the magnetic field if theta equals to zero if it is moving parallel to the magnetic field or anti parallel means if the charged particle moving opposite direction to the magnetic field even then force is zero why because sin 0 0 <coughs> as well as sin 180 is zero so that is why the force on the charged particle due to magnetic field is zero if the charged particle is moving parallelly or anti parallelly last point no change in the force and continue its parabolic path if the charged particle enters in the electric field in the direction other than perpendicular to the field but in case of magnetic field when the charged particle enters a magnetic field in the direction other than perpendicular its path is an helix thank you